Hey, it's Michael, fighting the Corona Monster from Denver, Colorado. This is going to be a follow-up video to my previous one where I demonstrated a uh, simple procedure for applying copper nanoparticles to uh, PPE in the hopes of improving their antimicrobial properties. Now there I just um, showed a simple tabletop synthesis and application with an ordinary paintbrush. But the goal was always to improve that. I think I may have mentioned something about using a volatile solvent and spraying of uh, particles on the uh, material. So it turns out there's quite a bit of research into copper nanoparticle synthesis using colloidal suspensions um, that should be suitable for spray application, like so. Um, this could be done in situ or scaled up in a factory setting for mass production. Um, I found two studies of interest, one a Chinese study published by the uh, National Institutes of Health here in the States that investigated synthesis of nanoparticles of varying morphology and their dispersion characteristics, and then a Russian study by the Russian Academy of Sciences that investigated synthesis of highly concentrated hydrosols and um, also address their antimicrobial properties against strains of E. coli. Um, both studies used the same reaction mechanism that was the reduction of copper sulfate by ascorbic acid, uh, suspension in a high molecular weight polymer such as povidone, carrageenan, uh, guar gum, xanthan gum. Um, all of these reagents show low to no toxicity in humans and are in fact FDA approved for uh, use in pharmaceuticals and cosmetics, and use green chemistry techniques. Um, they both manipulated the concentrations of copper 2 plus ions, the reducing agent, uh, the polymers, and uh, investigated different reaction solvents to study the nanoparticle morphology and the oxidation rates. So I am now in the process of finishing filming this and hope to be uploading it soon. I also plan on performing some experiments studying the effects of uh, the nanoparticle treated PVE on inhibiting the growth of E. coli colonies. So stay tuned for that and be safe. See you soon. <laughs>